you know it is your boy SB the Ghost LOX D Block telling you my homie J Focus new single Bitcoin is out now exclusively on YouTube coming to DSP Fridays April 17th shout out to the homie Evil Genius and everybody in Detroit give the link a listen give J Focus a listen Ghost told you so yeah and let's let's or it um so what Jada you think is okay or motherfucking because man Jada Kiss is so overrated to me <laughs> man Jada Kiss or Styles P man, Styles P. P is better than Jada Kiss yeah, right? <laughs> the same person right <laughs> <laughs> yeah but Styles got it. I'm, I'm listening I'm throwing it's songs on my playlist I got more of Styles nah I'm real see because yeah, Kiss okay. like that whole paper towel thing on his head when he came out and paper towel remember <laughs> <laughs> because he was kind of more of a yeah, on the he, side he wasn't really nah good. he I mean he not a sag but you said you ain't heard enough but yeah, I didn't he, heard he got some yeah. shit bro yeah, yeah his albums shit. are fucking fire and he makes smoke shit too no sir that's what chill shit but yeah man uh shit Jeezy or Jaden what come on man <laughs> stop uh I never liked Jeezy what? what? Alright, Jeezy or Jadakiss? Nigga, like, I, I, I always like Jeezy. I never no, man. Like Jeezy. Go somewhere else. Like, His beats suck to me. Jeezy or T.I.? T.I. for sure. Come on, T.I. for sure, bro. Nah, y'all are tripping. Because T.I. is a hit maker. You know what I'm saying? Fuck like, that. Jeezy, man. we look at him for street anthems, My man. My nigga Jeezy gave it up. But you're right, though. You're right. T.I. is more of an artist. And he can do all of that shit. You right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, like, I, like, like he, he he's he's made songs in every genre, every vibe. He got hits but with. But that's also one of the reasons why it's caps. Like yeah. Jeezy got capped. Yeah. So he can only make X amount of dollars because the content didn't change. See, I could. Like he was talking see, about I could have a number one country to the end. Like like if he partnered with Billy Ray Cyrus, <laughs> he'll have a number one hit. Who <laughs> 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 Jeezy? No, T.I., like, oh, you can yeah, make a yeah, song yeah. in any genre, bro, like, just be I mean, partnering with somebody like good, it'll be a hit, and people will actually like his verse on it, you know? No, what whatever you like. T.I. made whatever you like, whatever you like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even really like those songs, but... But it's, those he, were... We popped with them, yeah. Dog, and they crossed over, and it was almost but like, like, it was natural for him. It's almost like, it wasn't even like... Like, he was on a song with Andre, and he went hard as fuck. Mm -hmm. That's well, sorry. You know what I'm saying? You talking about uh, Trouble Man? I don't know what album's on, but it was the only song he's ever made with Andre. Yeah, that's on, yeah, that's on Trouble Man. <laughs> you know, and he actually went hard on that, and then he got all them songs with all these extra artists and shit. Jeezy seems like he's never... Has he ever had the number one hit? No, not a number one. He got number one album for sure, but not no... Yeah, yeah number one album, what you talking about like this week? Yeah. Or yeah. something like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not <laughs> probably won't I mean, but that's what a number one song is, this week. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Because if you can't stay at number one for five weeks, huh? Yeah, I'm sure yeah. T.I.'s done that on a few songs. Yeah. And that's why it's nobody that's really comparable to Drake, but Jay-Z. And I honestly think Drake got to win. <laughs> It's so fucked up. And to nobody say, wanna admit that shit right nobody now. Nobody wants to say I'll take Nobody wanna admit nobody that wants shit. But again, say it, but see again, you're talking about a collaborative creator versus a nigga who gets in the booth and doesn't True. even write in spits a verse in like Hold two on, but, Hold on, Drake write his raps, bro. Drake write his raps. No, I was, no that's yeah, the, that's that was the saying. that was a collaborative He's talking about the collaborative guy. Guy. Oh. And then Jay Z I you could not say no one read anything of his. Like I wouldn't believe yes, it if you said yes, like it's the dream, Kanye West. Yeah, uh, um, his his remix to Diamonds in Sierra Leone was written from somebody else or somebody the, else. He rapped a verse that someone else wrote. Mm -hmm. Correct. I don't even think his name was on that. Hold on, and song. Lucifer Sun in the Morning. It's a part of your Kanye West wrote. Yeah, I got to get my soul right. Well, see, that's that's okay. studio yeah. shit, bro. Yeah. It don't matter. It don't matter. You said writing. All right, all right. You got real strict with it, but we know most no, of Jay Z shit strict. is what your is your criteria. Most of Jay Z. Other shit. people help. Jay Z writing rap. Jay Z wasn't there yeah. at all. Well, he you just named two songs. That was it. Oh, yeah. hold on. more. All we gotta do is uh, bust down the fucking the, the track list, dog. Really? We can bust them down, and it's a bunch of fucking. We can go. These people are the sample artists. These Here's people the are the producers that actually worked on the track and actually the producer brought them brought them the hook already on it with a rift on it or something in the hook. You wrote for Jay Z. 
broke, bro. <laughs> bro, you see what I'm saying? And if you realize, Jay Z, Jay Z didn't even have a lot of hooks until later in his career. They yeah, all were samples. Yeah, Chris wrote a lot of Blueprint era shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like his name pops up on the, especially like the Blueprint two. His name pops up frequently. You know what I'm saying? He stole that nigga whole flow. Ask me. Well, <laughs> I, I, I still will give it to Dre just because I feel like he's more versatile. That's my. That's the, at the end of the day though, he has to win because of that. Like. Yeah. Not only is he more versatile, but he's also almost outdone the God. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's almost outdone this nigga Jay. Like, number ones, everything. But I do still feel like, in every, I think us as a collective in Drake the fans, we do feel like Drake need another classic for him to like solidify that yeah, shit. He I mean, need, cause what would you call, what would you say are Jay-Z classics? Um, we do have our show, Is It A Classic? And it is gonna be back but out see, soon. See, this is the thing about Jay-Z though. Like, his shit is, is somewhat simple sometimes. Like, he just said it in a cool way. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like he gave me no metaphors where I'm like, damn, how did he come up with that? But that's 90s Jay-Z. If you know what I'm saying? When you got to get the introspective breakdown, I got to listen to this bar over. You know what I'm saying? That's the 90s Jay-Z. What did he say on the Black Album? Uh, I, I haven't been rapping like common sense, but I did five mil. I've been rapping like common sense. I ain't been rapping like common sense. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk about he he couldn't rap like common. You know what and I'm saying? When he started, he had them fucking bars. But he came out with volume Dummy two, down, Money Cash Hoes. They loved it. <laughs> they love Annie and Money Cash Hoes. Yeah. Nigga, I'm not rapping like common anymore, man. Definitely could have been a super lyrical guy, but nah. <laughs> Don't pay. <laughs> I get it. Like now, I feel like that shit just sounded cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, hey, that shit hit hey, on Beyonce. I flow sick. <laughs> Fuck all y'all haters blow dick. Hey, like. from, uh, uh, I want money like Kyle Who would it? It's this kind of talk that make me think you probably ain't got no pudding. Niggas got this kind of drink from jail. I'm in the streets, nigga, make your moves, get your mail. Niggas are coasting. That's supposed to be that's, the lyrical shit? That is for sure. You know that lyrical, man? That shit was easy, boy. Niggas are coasting the SL, but can't post bail. Niggas are blows the L, but scared to throw the toast well. Head to tell, niggas, it ain't all swell. It's heaven, then there's hell, niggas. One day you're driving in your Put that shit up to a Lil Wayne bar. What? Alibi's not matching Ooh, up. Ooh, that's a conversation we need to revisit. Come on, cuz. Like, my whole thing is, it's a whole different caliber of shit. Like, this that nigga Lil Wayne, like some... Lil Wayne would just say the most Lottie hardcore gangster shit. Like, back then, niggas weren't talking like the way Jay-Z was talking. Wayne so don't gotta be important. gangster to be you know hard. The way he's hard is cause just, like, bro, how do you say, think of that shit? My, that's my, look like I got the, my, my chain look like I got the diamond disease. What? No, I ain't. The diamond no, no, no. disease? Hey, and that's why I think, that's why I think, uh, uh, if it Ain't about the money is probably his best fucking verse ever, dog. Cause this nigga said I get M's like mm mm mm. I said nigga, huh? <laughs> this nigga Lil Wayne is a fucking. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's, that's, that's funny. Like I'm like wow. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like you know what Wayne doing? Like, it's like, 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 like yeah. It's like a, it's like a different caliber of artist. It's like that's like saying that's like comparing Rock Kim. That's like comparing Rock Kim to. Jay Z, you know what I'm saying? G Rakim gotta lose, you know what I'm saying? Because Jay Z built on what Rakim was already doing, you know what I'm saying? He took Rakim shit to the next level, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you gotta compare somebody from that he era. Top five, I'm not even talking to top five, he's not top five, he's top ten. You know what I'm saying? Like once it gets to a certain, you said you can't. Like I said, 1997. Like what Nas was saying. Baby was rapping. In, Wayne was rapping in the 90s too. So what you saying? How they not, not nowhere know? near as he was fucking with Jay back then. Not not in 97. He wasn't fucking. He wasn't as hard, but he was rapping. So you can't like stand there different is, eras. Like they're the same. All I'm era. saying is what Jay Z was doing was a newer thing before mm. Wayne started doing it. Before niggas got on the track Wayne and started rapping about dope songs in 90s, bro. Jay Z and them was going on tracks and and doing it in a secret way so that it didn't sound like it's all dope dealing going on here. He kind of concealed it and made metaphorical bars and that was like a newer thing. Like him and Jay Z popularized that. And so Jay Z, he's so real cool. rap. So he's rapping about things that he actually does. Correct. And, and, so, and that's why so it's, it makes it harder to do that. That's, that's why, yeah. wait, that's why if you know, you know. Yeah. You know, and so that's why I'm trying to break it down. Like if you know, you know with Jay. Yeah. Like this nigga Lil Wayne will literally come out and say, got bricks in the back seat. Like that nigga Jay-Z would never just come out and overtly say that. He'll say, cruising, uh, cruising with 92, hoping that I don't lose him. You know what I'm saying? Patroller coming through him. Had to 
over the bridge, I throw him. You know what I'm saying? Like, see, he, yeah, he you won't just, say the same thing. You just thing, reference him telling a real story. So overtly, though, but that's my thing. Wayne didn't tell a real story, so that's why he can say it that way. Wayne, that's right. 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 That's Wayne. my point. Like, yeah. you can't, I wouldn't compare them to because of that fact. Yeah. They just rap too different. That's why we had to go. Then you have to put them with like a Kendrick or somebody. Because Kendrick is a real story. I was about to say, I was about to yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. You go somebody then you can go Jay Z versus Kendrick or something like that. Type yeah. of way. That's why I didn't mm-hmm. think Teddy Riley and Babyface were together. I just didn't think it fit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because Teddy, he's making ballads and shit. Like yeah. majority of fucking baby faces catalog is ballads and fucking Tony <coughs> Braxton <coughs> and all that. This nigga is making fucking the closest thing to rap and rap. You know what I'm saying? T- Teddy Riley, he making the closest thing to rap and rap. Like, and so you competing against this guy? Y'all are competing against each other. I didn't think that was a fair matchup. They might have the same amount of hits, but they just not the same sonically. But you couldn't put. I still don't think you could put Kendrick up away. What about JD versus uh, for real? Ah, for real. For real. I don't know how much for real actually writes. That wouldn't be fair because you can give extra credit to. You have to say the net tones. You have to say the net tones. And right, and so it's certain credit that you also got to pass off to the other crew because the crew makes the beat still. Yeah. The crew makes for real. They are yeah. for real, right? So let's say all of them are for real. Let's say all of them are for real. Let's say all of them are for real. Right. I'm going for real. He way more influential than JD. Really? Like JD was just hot for a long time, especially because like that was the beginning of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? He's given us so many like classics from other people that it's like he's a brain like that. That I feel like is way deeper than for real. I feel like for real keep his hard shit for him. Jay no! Make shit that he couldn't even release him. We know how to spell banana off the top of our head because of for real, bro. Every <laughs> song you come out with, every song you come out with, it just. Come on, man, you got that song going. Stay. Fucking happy. Just came out not too long. This nigga. Re- JD revived Mariah Carey's career, first of all. <laughs> and that's big because she was like the top selling artist. He did. And then. He did. Flopped. You know what I'm saying? He made her pop. Carey. Usher. Had a horrible first album. Got with JD, blew up. I'm like JD creates. Wow, wow. Yeah, he like he after J, after JD ball suck. I was like JD creates real shit. Where it's like Pharrell, he's got a few of those things here. After clips, how many people did he really like introduce? Like, like as far as new people. He yeah, like I just like yeah. he just drops his own songs here and there, which is dope. Like as far as a single artist, but if I you mean, look at as far as a, a, a producer vibe. Well, like even, that, even, even as a producer, because you got a Jay Z, you know what I'm saying? Kanye West, he produced for it. Gwen Stefani. You talking about for real? Yes. A song or two. Jay Z's making whole projects for people. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you like nigga, come here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, hey, Jay Z gave us confessions, bro. <laughs> Jay Z gave us confessions. So you talk about it just takes, singles and shit? Like, I think it takes Pharrell's career yeah. to even compare to confessions. Mm. I don't know about that. That nigga need to catch up. Then we got SW. We got. Aw, oh, damn, SW. We got But he got Khalees, though. He had Khalees. Come on, nigga. Come, he had Khalees, bro. Khalees is one hit wonder. Are you no, comparing Khalees? Khalees. I hope you're being sarcastic. Khalees, bro. Come on, man. She God, was, he had like a, like a four year run, <laughs> man. Bro, JD gave. What's that? Jagged Edge hits. You know what I'm saying? They got a classic. One of, yeah. They shit is up there with confessions. So he got two confessions. And he made confessions too. <laughs> that shit gonna be trash. That shit sounds so Fuck that. Good. That shit gonna be hard. It's just not gonna be confessions too. That shit better. If that shit ain't at least a little over me, that shit trash. I just feel like JD could come out and do this again where he gets somebody a dog ass album. I can't see for real doing that for anybody but himself. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel, and now that you say that, like I, I really see that now. Like he ain't came out. With no singer, nobody like yeah. We about to watch him. Give him a sound, yeah. But he comes out with shit that's like happy and shit. Like he do shit that's like a. T- it stops like with, everything. That you know lemonade like, song with Rihanna. Like he should have took Rihanna. Like nigga, we about to do our eight, nigga. This about to be your whole song. A whole album with Rihanna. <laughs> it's about to be hard as fuck, bro. Hard as fuck. Because I was thinking not too long ago about uh, just these scenarios, man. Like I think. Cause hip hop's so young. I think and R and B really. I think honestly, you could have put. <coughs> I think you could have put <coughs> Missy Elliott against Teddy Riley. Ooh. I think Missy versus Teddy would have been a lot better of a challenge. 
Missy or Timberland though. Well, Missy Ooh, and Timberland. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Missy yeah. and Timberland. But see, like, because they they Missy and Timberland versus fucking Terry Lewis and Jimmy Jazz and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That'd be hard. That'd be hard. Cause the range. All right, let's go back to Usher though, because I know on Facebook it was going around Trey Songs versus Usher. Minus Confessions, who got it? No, you can't minus confession. Man, cause yeah. look, cause <laughs> we know that, that, that nigga's like, like y'all just tried to do that with Fifty Cent. Like you can't take away fucking get what you guys trying. No, can't do it. Cause that nigga's like a monumental okay. oh. album. So it's like, well, then, then if you take away album, you just talk about just like songs and impact. Yeah, cause it's like that's like. And if see, you my plan, whole thing is Trey songs can't dance like my nigga Usher. I'm sorry, but if it's just he the can't music, dance at all, right? No, Correct. You know that. <laughs> so, that's already a one up. Just yeah. artists alone. Like, artist, I'm yeah. probably not even talking about singing, but man, that Ooh, nigga. Ooh, Usher got the singing. He too. got too many. But Trey hits. Songs more. No, he don't, though. Really? Without the Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that was a whole oh, album. Yeah, but see, without just without single hits? Though. Like, just singles? Without, the without confessions? Songs, how yeah. many hits do. How many hits do he really got? Mm. Not songs that you like because they're good songs. Mm. How many hits do Usher really got without the You think you're talking about good Versus songs. Trey songs. I think Trey songs got more. It's just that, like you said, Usher had the whole album that was just so fire that it kind of just cost. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but my whole thing is, with it all being said and done, I don't think people think about Trey songs, music. I don't think they think about Trey songs often. I think you forget. I don't about think it. the people think about Trey songs at all. So I think if you brought this to the forefront collectively, so he could Usher us. would win because he just not visible. Like the last time we saw Trey songs, it was because some video footage got leaked to this nigga and fucking Megan Thee Stallion's ear at some bar. But like, I think if Trey songs come out with a, with, a, with a new project, Usher come out. I feel like Trey songs is going to be most successful. Yeah, right now. Like it more. But mm-hmm. I feel like Usher's kind of like. He got his time. Like he tried to do that little thing with Lil Young Thug, which is actually a hard song. But that project was ass. No, yeah, I the think, project was wet, but that I song was dope. That he, no, that was a good song. Yeah. Yeah. That, but yeah, I think <laughs> it's just like Usher. To I me, he, he never grew like, up. You know what I'm saying? Like, he never grew up. Like, yeah. when you get like 35, 40 ish, nigga, I want to hear, nigga, that Anthony Hamilton music. You know what I'm saying? The shit you was putting on, on like, here I stand. I want to hear more of that shit. Fuck all this sexy, flexy pop <laughs> shit, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, bro. I mean, but I think that's at the end of the day that all of the all of the the, the artists, if they're still active, want to they want to give you the grown man shit, and then once they feel like they've been give they've given you enough, they want to uh, get strings, change it again, <laughs> right? No, and, and, and try to prove that they can be in a young man's game. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the only. It's the only genre of music where we feel like that's a thing. You know what Man, I'm saying? Good music like, is good music. Regardless that's my, that's my even point. if that is a thing. Good, uh, good music is good music. Cause even E40 and Two Shirt be dropping, and them niggas be selling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Them niggas old as dirt. That's as far saying. as in rap years, they old as dirt. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They what forty five to fifty years old. That means they like eighty. See, they they own their shit. They probably only need ten thousand sales, and they good. They, but they, they but they actually do more than that though. They actually <laughs> compete on the charts. You know what I'm saying? They actually compete. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you good music every now is and good then come music. Out and be on a big hit too. That shit still bugs me up. But sometimes bad music sales. That's what like my niggas say. Burner is one of the worst rappers ever. <laughs> you know, Burner got like thirty five albums, bro. Hey, <laughs> right? No, hey, that first that first um song that he had with fucking Wiz that I heard of his that uh keep that weed smoke everywhere we go. That was my shit. I think it was called El Chapo or some shit. That was my shit, nigga. Right? <laughs> you know, uh, after that, I'm like. All right, I'm going some of these albums. He just got a few cool songs here and there. I can't. Yeah. I, I tried to. That's why I, after I heard it, I'm like, that's this is a great song. It's amazing. Wiz is on it, and that he made the song. And I think artists like Burn that. Bad. It's like you pick up just those cool songs because you've seen it with Wiz, and be like that's like Boss. Right. I've seen him on tour with J Cole, and it's like, man, this dude actually do got a couple cool songs. You know what I'm saying? All right, really so I'm gonna ask y'all boss. while y'all here then for, for real, content, what's the boss? For content's sake, you, you know what I'm saying? Because you haven't, you've been asked this already, but I just put this out there the other day. I made a post uh, on the Wake Up Back podcast uh, that said uh, Wiz or Wale mixtapes only. Wiz, man. 
There we go. Okay, just trying to make sure <laughs> the heat check. You know what I'm saying? Even, even if you just put the even you know if you put the albums in there, I think you would have had to do some still wins. I think he still wins too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I seen a lot of like mixed reactions. Like niggas was like, yeah, no, the albums. Cause you know, cause while they had the album about nothing, and I'm like, you gotta think, Wiz Impact, hard, but Wiz Impact when he came Wiz out, he came him. out, he came out on a Forbes list. Y'all forget about that. He came out on a Forbes yeah, list. Eleven million yeah. up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo. Not only that, but he would, when he would put out something for a good five so years, he would. It would be like damn near a hit, like that we them boy. It didn't even have to be much, but it would get hella plays. You feel what I'm saying? And I think and and I, Wood was a classic, you know, fuck it. And, 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 and I think, and I think how, the way a lot of artists approach the way they tour, they get that shit for Wiz too. But Wiz, he could do it himself. I feel like all the Wale hits had a feature. Ah, nah. What did? What hit? Oh, nah, he, Wale is one of those dudes who take the R&B rap format. You know what I'm saying? And somebody singing on the hook. Yeah. Or so some type feature. of singing sound. Like, well, like, you can name multiple Wiz songs with just Wiz, but like, what's the hardest Wale songs? Uh, actually, not, you talking about hits? Off the shiny, oh, it's not even like a super smash, but I fucking love this song that he got with fucking G Easy, dog. It's the uh the walk by on fire, baby. Can't help it. It's a fun girl. It's a look at hold up. When Wally started having his song, when he first got with MMG. He always had somebody singing. It was Jeremiah, or he had Rick Ross on the song. You know what I'm saying? But and that's when he was getting them hits. He was having right. somebody that's singing. How, cause yeah. That's how I took right. you to the And, and, and that too, song, I, I brought up, that song I just brought up is a later song out of his career, though, at the end yeah. of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's literally. So yeah. nowadays, we see him be more versatile when it comes to the hooks than just singing them himself. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, that's what the people want. He got a song. No, his, part, his hardest song out right now is the song with Bryson Tiller. Oh, so but see, but no, I mean, that's also. That's exactly. also another one. Let somebody see right you, and then he just gonna hit you with some right bars and metaphors. Right 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 about the got a little formula. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, hey, no. So it's safe <laughs> to say, like Wale is current day fab, but no, I don't, no, no I Big Sean. I think Big Sean is fab. Really? Yeah, yeah I, I, that's get, me. I can see that more. The lyricists who make the girl songs and shit. You know what I'm saying? But you got the bars though. You got more bars though. Ooh, who got more bars? Ooh. Between Big Sean and, and Fab. Yeah, because I feel like Fab, uh, he, he made a lot of, he was going for radio play. Whereas I feel like Big Sean, he'd give you one, two songs for radio play, but his albums, he was like. He, but I think Fab do the same thing too. I think he gave you the radio songs, but he did have like his mixtape shit. Or, yeah. Hard. Damn, dog. I probably haven't listened to him enough recently to be able to get oh. a little bit. Yeah, I definitely would probably have to do a deep dive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck that, Detroit, big shot. <laughs> but see, is there recency bias in this statement, though? Huh? Recency bias, like no, because I'm, I'm in my head, I'm I'm stacking up their projects next to each other, and they you used to, next to you, each other. They used to listen to whole fat projects. Definitely. Cause Low Souls Way, yeah. uh, Real Talk, uh, Street Dreams. Low Souls uh, Way, that was, I, did, I think that was. Uh, that's probably that was way. his best cohesive project, Low Souls Way. Was that 90s or? No, that, that had like, uh, When the Money Goes, Where the Honey Stay. They came out when we was like, like right after we graduated. That might have been like 2012, 2013. No, I think that was 09. That was 09. That was 09. Yeah. This shit been at like 82% forever. Right. It's down to 83, like, bro. Like, Damn, this nigga said Sean or Freddie. I'm going to be Sean. Right. And they both, do, they both don't got a classic to me, so that's kind of a good one. Yeah, and they both are still putting out projects. Like, I like the one that, uh, Oh, Fred, you got some fire mixtape, soul tape, dog. Oh. You want some water, though, no, Jack? Yeah, um, oh. Damn, dog. Yeah, that's a hard one for me. I'm going to, this soul tape this fire, though. I'm, I really just want to go Big Sean because Detroit, bro. Like, <laughs> I read my nah, that, Yeah, I nah, remember that. that. I was in college when that shit came out. That shit was hard. I'm talking about just the fact that he's from here. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I knew exactly where you was going with that shit. Well, that's an obvious bias. Uh, but I, that not for me. I don't give a fuck. The Young OG project. Uh, Young OG, I think, was my favorite one. Gangster, 
Yo, oh, Jim, man. Is that the one where he had that? Uh, see the song whoa, whoa, whoa. Though. You remember that? Whoa. Yeah, whoa, no, that was whoa. that was Jungle G Project. I was about to say, was it that one? Yeah. That's that's my favorite project of him. All right. Then Soul Tape. Duh. And the fan got much more of an extensive catalog, too. I wouldn't say that. You don't? Big Sean only got like four albums in like no. three mixtapes, right? No. Then they got like five albums and eight mixtapes. No, because that, that shit with Metro Boomin counts. Um, the niggas even that that EP, the shit that he put let's out. Let's just call them all albums, bro. That's what I'm gonna say because like it, it's so That's skewed what now what like, a mixtape and album is. So, I but. feel like that now, like I think yeah, after a certain project, point, yeah. like <laughs> like those um those Big Shine mixtapes, the first three he put out. You know what I'm saying? Those I am Big Shine joints. Fine those were real cool. mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? Because it literally was like was one of the best songs beats? on there was Lemonade, was that super duper lemonade. Yeah, that's a mistake to me, but people don't do that no more at all, so exactly, it's like we can't even criteria so that. Certain, yeah, it's certain shit that I go, okay, come on, man. Yeah. Cool. But, if, it, it, but if it was from a certain era where they didn't make money off the shit, then it counts. That's like Wiz. As what, a mixtape? Yeah, album? that's like Wiz. Like Wiz. Because Wayne could, said he never made a dollar could, for those mixtapes. Correct. No, see, a lot of the mixtapes he had got leaked. Like, he didn't even plan a lot of his mixtapes dropping. Like, a lot of those shits. But the official ones that he dropped, he said he didn't make oh, no money on them. Because he ran through all fucking instrumentals. He never used fucking beats. Ever. He used all intros. But if that shit had came out when but streaming was, was going it, on, but it was he would have right, made millions. Correct, correct. But it was on streaming. If it was on, uh, it was on that pip. Yeah. Anything that hit. Or that just pip, a CD. Niggas was burning that shit off correct. of a lime wire correct. and shit. Yeah. So if it, it was on that pip, yeah. that meant that that is not an official release, nigga. That is a mixtape. That shit was free as fuck. Man, that's fucked you know up, man. Back that then, pip gets so many views, bro. How's that not paying these? Because we want the music. See, see, now I think <laughs> they don't they have got, to. They can just, right. <laughs> no, see, I think now they got like if you perform at a certain level, they, they structure some kind of like exclusive deal with you. But yeah. I think that's the closest that you can get. But for Wayne did not have made no money off of the drops. But like he had to at least been performing some of them songs, right? That way he made money. I don't think he performed. No, think he never performed. I don't think he was out there and performed. I don't again. think Baby let that nigga perform that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Baby had that shit, bro. He, he kind of didn't have to because he had enough album hits to yeah. just perform that shit. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, and so, so with that being said, like, who could you like? Appropriately put up against. See, like Wayne is like an alien. He's like an alien. You gonna put him against Eminem? No, you can't. No, you can't. Yes, no. Mm-hmm. I think he wins. Wayne gonna win that. Mm-hmm. Wayne got enough mixtapes that. But I, I think that's the type of artist you was talking about. Eminem is a rapid. Yeah, rapper. no, but see, but he's also he's... like a, a person that can't really be properly placed with other people either. Exactly. That's why you gotta compare it away. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he didn't put out mixtapes. He doesn't keep... But see, he, he's also, not a mixtape. But see, I also think, like, in the same breath, I could sit here and say he that... wait five years and then put out an album. How? Huh? That nigga was going on hiatus. Hey, Wayne was rapping every no. day. I think... I yes, think he did. Wayne was going on hiatuses too. We ain't never been on no hiatus. Shit. He just came off of fucking seven years. Off of one, right? But he's dropping albums there. He just wasn't. It's no, I'm not talking none of that shit. <laughs> After the look, all that shit was trash. Dedication four, five, six, seven, eight, all that. All that. What was the way? Yeah, all right, so look, hey, look, I got, a, I got a hot take, and y'all probably gonna attack me, but I'm gonna stand behind this tried and true. If you saying that we could compare Eminem to Lil Wayne. I also think another God tier MC because I, I can only go to and I have a small bag of God tier MCs and another one of those is Lupe Fiasco. Now he don't have the hits, but I think that nigga will bar that nigga Lil Wayne sleep. And I think he got sleep. I think he got to one sleep. or two hits too. But nah. any day, nah, I any would day. say and you probably gonna really bar be bar? I would say Meek Mill. I would. Whoa. Huh? The reason I say that. Hold on, because he's a lyricist. He is a lyricist. The reason I say that is Compared because. Compared to who? Mixtapes, albums. Come on, man. He ain't got no classics. Come on, bro. Not what? near it. Not Dream what? Chase's mixtapes are classics. Hell no, man. I heard that before. I will say I heard that before. I will say I heard that. So I ain't even going to say that's wrong. I ain't even going to say that's wrong. You know what I was going to 
was saying was I wasn't saying like bar for bar. I was just saying like, like consistency, putting out music. It's reach. consistency. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he, he's a consistent rapper, bro. Like he don't. He's always selling. He's always making music that people fuck with. He put out some niggas is banging it. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these artists you name it, they they'll like go off you and right, they don't like some of their shit. And it's just like you know, I just feel like Meek Mill since he came out, he's been a consistent rapper with with a uh, what they call it uh, relevancy. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I think I think Meek Mill is more of an artist that can get compared to a Wiz more properly. Yeah, you're right. And them niggas both, have, but Wiz yeah, seems like he's going no, like he going I, I, down. I see what you're saying, but I feel like I was just trying to think of somebody put against Wayne that actually raps, got albums, mixtapes, and they be in there rapping. Like, Meek is a rapper, bro. Like, he be freestyling and shit, dog. Huh? No, do you need me to rap you fucking all about that? If it ain't about the money, the entire verse from Star Wars. Who's this, Wayne? <laughs> yeah. Wayne? Well, listen, I know Wayne's a dude, like, but you can't I'm trying to think of like rappers, rappers. Like, like, them, to me, you got to go. He's a rapper, rapper, bro. It's, it's like, like I said, if you want to go down to like. This movie bars. is about the battle rap scene. Like, he's a rap rapper. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This whole day. brand, everybody he put under him are rap rappers. I haven't liked anything he did since since the Marshall Mathers LP. Me either. Me either. So it's like he's selling, but. But it's trash to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? He raps it. He da, 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 da. He's all over the place. It's like, what are you talking about, bro? He's not even rapping That's about that shit. That's that Wayne shit. That's Wayne, that Wayne. Wayne, you know exactly what he's talking about, though. No, but see, but my thing is, well, my problem with Wayne was that he, um, like, he didn't do it. He died on word. his life. He did not. He's never talk talked about, about his life. Anything. Yeah. He didn't talk That's about always been one of the things against him. And the best project of his that to ever exist. He probably would never fucking even try to claim because he didn't make no money from it. And that's little, that Lil Weezy and Veli album. That is my best, bro. Dog, it had that, uh, the first version of, um, La, I don't know, La, Carter La, one, he was kind of talking about it some had shit. All that shit. It had, he was talking about how he had the fucking knife. He's going to uh, stab his motherfucking stepdad for beating his mom. Like, it was, he had a lot of, like, But that was the shit that leaked, stories. right? Yes, that was a leaked. Yeah. It was a Weezy. And then he had the one, he had, I miss my dog. You know what I'm saying? That was introspective. I'm going, I'm going, again, that's Carter Spidey. Three. I'm going Spidey Carter Spidey throughout his career. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Here and there. <laughs> yeah, like, this nigga literally did an entire song about a fictional fucking robbery. You know what I'm saying? On Carter Five. Like... Big Bill done stuff like that. What Tony? It's yeah. more believable because he was closer to the street at the time when he made it. Me? Yeah. yeah. So I know this nigga Lil Wayne's whole shit. If he's telling this shit, he's very cool with the statue. But when it comes to putting words together, he came up with all of it. It don't matter if you if you introspect it and all that. When it comes to just putting words together, it's like these niggas don't do that. So the same thing with Eminem. It don't matter that he like uh, 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 this nigga can rap faster than Twister and say more shit than Lil Wayne can. You yeah, know what but I'm this saying? is the thing. At the same, and then slow it down and still say the same amount of syllables slowing it down. I feel like, like, oh, I feel like it, with him is how he said it, not what he said. Though, like he don't. To me, Eminem bars gonna be the. Dog, how did you? What the fuck? That shit. Like how you said with the right. M, the mm, we just had to think about it. It just right. be the way he put it together sounds cool, but as far as the formulation of the words, how do you think of that? I, I can't get that to Eminem. Like I can give it to Wayne. Like Wayne, the way Wayne do that, Most I can give it to niggas like J. Cole, even Kendrick. They said things where it's like, damn, how you put together that? You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that's where I feel like Wayne, even though we know he's not telling real stories, is on a different caliber. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like who else point. can put bars together like that? It's it's a very few, very few. Maybe man. Cassidy. Cassidy. Oh, stop, stop. Cassidy. I don't know, man. I, I, he, I will put him against Meek Mill. They went against each other. Meek Mill wins. Wait, no, no. Cassidy is a different yes. caliber than Meek Mill, bro. Cassidy music is trash. Man, he's yeah, a good he, battle rapper. He, yeah, he's never made good music. And he's never made good music. <laughs> <laughs> what about that album? No, that album was trash. Before he went to jail, was trash. No, <laughs> with Swiss Beats, come on, bro, that was not. How trash. you have Swiss Beats and R. Kelly, bro, <laughs> and flop? He did not flop. 
The album sold, bro. What are you talking about? It sold what? <laughs> <laughs> and then he had the old because he went to jail around that time. He had a song with charge. Swiss Beats and Jay Z. How much is sale, bro? How about come on? Let me do this. Shit. <laughs> I, I, I was about to say, I. <laughs> this oh wait, uh, I gotta come. No Jay Z and R Kelly, then Jay Z and I mean R Kelly and Swiss Beats, then Jay Z and Swiss Beats, and you flop, bro. But see, Cassie got shit where he's just spitting on Instagram or YouTube that's harder than most of his albums because like he raps, you know what I'm saying? Bro. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, like. You gotta make a song, this is hip hop, bro. No, we, I, I, I would give you a whole different criteria. Niggas who can rap where they put words together in ways that you are wondering how the hell they thought of that. And I would feel like Cassie would be one of those caliber artists where it's like, I'm the average nigga can't say some shit that he says, you feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna take Lupe, Lupe over him, Freddie Gibbs. I'm gonna take my man. <laughs> See yeah. Lupe, he make real music like that. Right, that Lupe last album he did monster, was man. so hard. The one uh, drove his life. No, Lupe. About, uh, which one are you talking? About? It was he recently. Came out with a few. It was recently, but it was um. Cause well, drove his light was the most recent. My favorite Lupe album. Tetsu Youth. Tetsu and Youth was recent. Too. I think that one. Was, yeah. But see, he one of the niggas where he don't rap rap. He just come out rapping and go away. I'm talking about niggas who keep rapping like they're see, rappers. Cassidy, you know? I'll put in that Jada Kiss Pool, Beanie Siegel. Nigga rap and just disappeared like that. Food and Liquor too. the Great American, great American Rap album. Oh, that was a minute ago. That was my, yeah, that, that was 2012. Yeah. That was my favorite album with Lupe Ever. Like, yeah, that, that was, whole thing was hard shit as fuck, bro. Amazing album. Yeah. It's not my favorite, but it was amazing. The cool, I'm just saying, the cool around the my album. way, bro. Come on, dog. Uh, that was probably my favorite around album. Around my way, like, ever. <laughs> dog. Yeah. Battle Scars? No. Oh, I love that fucking album. What, the one I'm talking about? No. Uh, Lupe is one of the but biggest it's great. stuff, but you be like. But dog, his bar, like his mixtape shit. Like, if, once you go back, like, I always reference failure. Like, you failure told, is from the, What's that back, one where he be, uh. fucking nuts. Like, is he rapping as the picture showing, and then he bring it back to the what he was talking Dog, about? That he play. did the whole fucking um, right? I, that, he was acting like uh, he was all the inanimate objects. And yeah, he was fucking like he was the bullet going through the hole. Yeah, and saying what up to his home. Like he was doing like the craziest shit. Like this nigga's it's mean soldier. Let me put the streets down like steamrollers for the cats that push Bro. forty ounces through the hood. Like King Cobra, see he sling soda, cause the extra four in the drip was mixed. It's really thirty six, and that was pretty much like his way of saying it's uh it's actually thirty six fucking ounces in the fucking forty ounce brew because it's four ounces of fucking foam. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like he like <laughs> this nigga like the goes and that say five some crazy shit. So ninety three thousand copies his first week. That ninety three thousand in the two thousands at in that. The 2000s, no, that, that is a, that is a his peak it's position was right. number two on the Billboard rap album. And you still flopped. That's not a flop, bro. That, that's we don't know how much it sold to date. And that time. It's still a flop. Yeah, you got a yeah. song wall, all right? You got a number two song if in the you country. Did, if, you're, if you're top ten, then that's not a flop. How the fuck can you be a flop? For a song? No, the album debuted at number five on the U.S. Billboard 200. And how much did it say? Who else? Who else dropped? Yeah, <laughs> who else came out? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on with the facts. Come with the other stuff. It's certain I bet you artists it's who niggas who didn't matter. That, that right. Cassidy was supposed to do better than. It's certain <laughs> artists that do not matter who else came out. Them niggas. Ninety three thousand, and you got a song about R. Kelly and Swiss Beats, bro. That's that's worth at least two hundred, bro. Hmm. At least, just R. Kelly alone, you mm -hmm. supposed to sell at least 200. You got the R. Kelly song on your album? I'm going to get the album just for that song. Fuck out of here. I, I, I want to get out because Cassie was hard rapping. No, I'm saying it's like a casual listener. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Man? 93,000. Who can you put up against DMX, though? Uh, Ja Rule. Ja Rule. Yeah. Uh, Jay Z? I was I was gonna say I was gonna say nineties Jay Z. Bar, yeah. right? Bar wise, because yeah, he had to name people who stopped like Ja Rule. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> right. But if you take them two, I would say Ja Rule got more hits, but DMX was way harder rapper. I feel like I think I might say I'm ready to say that DMX got him on all the chords. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> even on the hits, bro. Like for real. If you think about it, DMX only had hits. Even his emotional songs, they were hits. But Ja Rule can go yes, on tour yes. right now. Now when it came to Ja Rule, sell out stadiums on them hits though. G- D- DMX can he? When it when it came to <laughs> oh, hey, this is people gonna hear this. So, <laughs> That's it. So, but I'm saying people not gonna fill up the stadium for him like they gonna fill up with Ja Rule. They not. And so I mean, my thing is this. My thing is this. They, my, um, uh, ja Rule got with, girls with ja and women. With ja Rule's music, music, when he got more introspective and deep, I almost couldn't take him serious. You know what I'm saying? Like it was harder for me to take those so songs. Who? Ja Rule. Ja Rule. <laughs> like, I couldn't really vibe with his more introspective music. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, if he wasn't talking about bitches and parties. No, and I really didn't. And I feel like you know, would talk about dance, bitches and parties and, and, and get introspective. Yeah, yeah. And, and the same the song. And then go harder. <laughs> then get on a Jay Z song and go yeah. harder than Jay Z. Make you. You know what I'm saying? Make fuck around and make you cry about some shit that he said. <laughs> ja Rule ain't about to invoke no emotion for real. It's just like and uh, <laughs> go harder. Harder than Jada Kiss, just a hot take. I may add, go harder than Jada Kiss on the song too. Who you say? DMX. DMX did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I don't think nobody will be mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but I don't think either one of them can come out right now and like put out a, a hard album. I think DMX could. I give think you it'll be at the old heads though. I yeah. think that that's when you feel like your your core fan base. You know what I mean? Because Swiss keeps saying that DMX working on something. I just like. I don't think it's going to be impactful. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mean? But I, then again, I don't even, think John would try. <laughs> even when he came out, it, he was done. Even when he came out with that, Lord, give me a sign. But it caught. You know what I'm saying? That just actually caught. Mm-hmm. And, you know what I'm saying? Like it actually caught. Mm-hmm. I think he'd better be, be better off developing some kind of social media appearance and like just be rapping. You know what I'm saying? And then like kind of like how Plies. Can stay relevant. I want to talk. Or Boozy yeah. can stay relevant by being engaged with their fans and then just dropping albums here and there. DMX need to smart enough to get off the crack and do some shit like that because I think he could. Because we got a little What DMX got to yeah. say, dog? Uh, he did. Yeah. And then, like, just hear his perspective because he did an interview with Breakfast Club and that shit was because he was talking about Drake and shit. He didn't like his face and shit. Yeah. And, like, he was just, uh, I don't give a fuck, nigga. But niggas don't want to talk enough. Yeah, 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 yeah you want to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so if he was on Instagram doing that shit, niggas would be, he'll have millions of followers. If you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He would just have, but he's too much of a, he seems too much of an introvert yeah. to ever do that. Yeah. Ja Rule, man, is a cloud chaser. All right, but Ja Rule or Fat Joe? Because <laughs> Fat Joe has developed artists, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, then you put him on a different caliber, yeah, because like, he's like a. I'm still on Ja Rule. <laughs> I honestly don't think I put him on a Ja Rule caliber. Because Ja Rule. He got hits, but Ja Rule. He had too many more, I think. Yeah, Ja Rule had way more. And then he got a Shanti. Ja Rule got a Shanti, man. Like, that nigga Fat Joe. Yeah, because like, if, yeah, if, like, if you put. If you put that little here, Ashanti like, vibe with it. That dude put him to the top, again. you know what I'm saying? Like, before he caught again, he was living off Flojo from, like, 97, you know what I'm well, saying? all of that like, shit, before he niggas caught, don't even like, know. You got or something, like, nobody remembers, like, a fat Joe. All of that gotta be credited, but Ja Rule... Like, other than lean back, like, give me one. Well, I know Earth what you're about to say. I know what you're about to say. I know what you're about to say. Behind ja Rule, I was about to say that. Yeah, so it's like, that's why that was that formula. And then Fat Joe took that style, too. Yeah, he did. But... Irv was making beats with Fat Joe too, like right. See, look, with Fat Joe you go. <laughs> <laughs> like I know what you're about to say. Yeah, yeah, with bro. Fat Joe you go, Fat Joe or Nori. You know what I'm saying? Like that's more fair. Oh, no, they it's play him against Nori. Nori, 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 Nori yeah. he more. No, Nori Nori's is more up there, but he yeah, don't have as many like critically. Because he tapped into his uh, Puerto Rican uh, fans later. You know later, but he also has count, he also he has music in. and things he's done like on other people's stuff. Well, I was say all those hits. So no, John Rule, Earl no. produced every one of them. But right, All those Shanti hits, Earl right. produced every single one of them yeah. by himself. You know what I'm right. saying? So that's why it's like, I think it's Irv producers, Earl don't get credit, who, bro. Who Earl won against then? Earl or who? It's yeah. hard because Earl was the only nigga who had Hitman. the top three I'm songs uh, for weeks. Hitman. Irv is the only person in history who had the top like three or four or five songs on the Billboard for multiple weeks. Only producer to ever do that. You know what I'm saying? But outside of that few, few years era with them, you put, he's been silent. So it's kind of like hard to put him against a lot of producers. You put Ho up because he had a like, moment. You know what I'm saying? You're like, um. Who else had a moment like that? Because a lot of these producers. Like a Just Blaze, maybe. He, Just Blaze was, was a little younger, was a little longer though. Yeah. Uh, Dark Child. Uh, I mean, it ain't his fault. That nigga got hit by feds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, what? That stop you from making beats, dog? Like, you can't still. Period. Man, you can't. <laughs> you can't be able to make another hole. 
<laughs> yeah, like, come on. Dark like, he was interested on a lot of these niggas. Period, dog. He was making them hits. Oh, okay. yeah. Cool and Dre. And he was writing, too. Like, some of Shanti shit, he would help, help her write it. Nigga, Justice League versus. Come on, man. Justice League. <laughs> what you about to say, nigga? Um, they got Mary J. Blige songs, weeks, nigga. They got Mary J. Blige songs, nigga. Come, like, you can't. <laughs> who you about to say? You gotta say somebody like. Uh, I was trying to think of another crew. You gotta say like Dre and Vital or something like that. You don't even know who that is, do you? No. Yes. You, you, you gotta, that's who you gotta put against Justice League. Well, what they've made says you wanna inform us and our listeners so damn bad. They produced the album for Mary J. Blige to break through. What about this whole rap group argument? Because. What? Me, people saying Migos versus Deluxe. Remember, they they were trying to put them against the uh, Bone Thugs or some shit like that. I'm like, come on, bro. Like Bone Thugs would, I could never consider them the greatest group. Like Bone Thugs, yeah. all right, for sure. They were just like they were just they made some cool songs, but and they had the song big. like N- N.W.A. puts them out the water off of that one album. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so like, if you go Migos locks though, I might have to give it to Migos. <laughs> I really the Migos They yeah. impact the, the Migos culture. Put outcasts over the Migos Honestly, Oh for sure The Migos <laughs> have done Too much dog In music And in comparison I don't think that The locks have done Anywhere near as They much. ain't doing enough no, They, 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 they got bigger careers totally. Separately don't they huh? Yeah right <laughs> Yeah no, no They got bigger careers Separately yeah. yeah For the most part Like that's why like I got a, uh, I recently had, got that little shout out that I was talking about, uh, and the nigga style talking about some, uh, LOX D block. He had to say, like, every crew, you know what I'm saying? Like, because they all like, was different, different versions shit. of them, right? Like, until they got their masters back and shit from Diddy, they had to change their name to D block. You know what I'm saying? And then they D-block. came back and became the locks again after they got right with Diddy. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. Because <laughs> he had they publish it. Yeah. <laughs> And then Diddy was like, ah. <laughs> I still don't see how Diddy is just giving her that shit back, but Mace can't get his shit. Mace probably got his shit. It's probably why he, uh, he went somewhere. I don't want to let me know. He just put out an Instagram post about this shit like a couple months ago. For real? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that just happened. He made a whole but post see, recently but, like, but how you give these niggas their shit back? And I gave you some of your biggest hits ever. No, the thing, the thing is, right behind it, it right and behind he said he offered the nigga two million dollars. Right behind it, said no. He ended up in a picture with this nigga at some award show. Right behind that. Oh, so, so you think they worked it out? They together. Like you know what I'm saying? The way I'm he like, posted at that time, it it, it, it wasn't together. No, because he had the label to deal though. Because he's doing that to somebody right now. Who, whoever he got an artist right now. Who? That, Mace? Yeah, that he's doing that too. Why wouldn't you everybody does that? The they get fucking in position. But see, no, you don't have to do it like that. You don't have to move like that. If you know you got fucked, I don't want to hear shit you got to say about somebody fucking you. <laughs> when you currently got somebody bent over. Nigga, um, like, I can't do that. <laughs> who would you put against Mace? Because Mace, Mace was actually cold, bro. Mace has to go against, like. Oh, they went against each other, though. Technically. Twice. Mace has to go against, like. Is Dipset considered a rap group? Definitely. It's like G. They did their own shit though. But they did a group shit too. <laughs> Diplomatic immunity. <laughs> <laughs> but their hardest songs. Or would separate. you say? Or would you would say like a crew, and then you would put like diplomats, rock. That's because I was thinking about like rap groups against Migos, but like I said, I kept thinking of crews and shit. All right, so you know I get what you're saying. So all right, they, they a crew. Let's go rap groups. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. If you just say rap groups, it's so few though. Not really. That was popping. I mean, that that used to be a thing that put them all together. They would drop album and then drop. But talking about rap groups that stay consistent, there's only like a handful of them that I can think of. That stay consistent? Who? I would say Outcast had a consistent career for a while. Um, of course, we got to put the Migos in there. Um, Ray Shrimmer. Ooh, they won for a while. They time. was. They had like a three year run, run four year run, some shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit was a little Still cool. running. But see, see how hard this list is becoming? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, the groups is not, it's not easy. <clears throat> like, because you, cause you can say the Hot Boys, but the Hot Boys, they got like two albums. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, no, and we still talk about, um, what are we just talking about? And they were bigger separately. Mace's, Mace's guy, uh, who could we put against Mace? We could put, um, who had like a flash career. 
that came out the gate with like a couple hits and then left us. I would have said that, uh, that. That is like him though. That's similar to him. I'm trying to like really think like. Cause I immediately thought of like Beanie Siegel or something. What about Jay? Oh, Mace, bro. But it Mermaid, wasn't big bro. enough. Yeah, and I was like, it was big enough. Bro. I would say Jay Quan, but that wasn't big enough. Oh, uh, come on. Show some respect, Chingy. Show some respect, dog. Chingy. You compare Chingy to Mace to Lil Flip? No, yeah. See, you yeah. Wait, Lil Flip had a longer career, right? No, they were still making music. For real? I thought Chingy was done. No, that nigga, he had his one album, Lil Blue had his first album. He had two. He had his first album, but he had the two hits on it. Not the Lucky Charm one, but the one after Damn. that one. And then he had the one right. after that, he had Snoop Dogg on there and, and, and Ludo Come on, there. man. After he had, after T.I. killed this shit, nobody was rocking that shit, bro. All right, man. Well, Bumby or Scarface? Oh, Scarface. Mm. Hold on, as far as like, and we can count they, uh, they group shit with it. Uh, so they oh, oh, Bumby, oh, Bumby, you ah. can for life. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas got class six. class six. You gotta put them in there. They had, they was consistent for a long time. Yeah. They even though they ain't never like, well, they kind of did the numbers too. They had, they got plaques. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like they stay consistent. You just did. and they got one of the greatest hip hop songs of all times, man. So. Yeah, man. Just the Rock Dirty album alone is just gonna destroy a lot of shit that comes up to the plate. Even Trill, no. the Underground Kings will see. Man, Trill, man, come on, stop that, <laughs> man. Yeah. Mind playing tricks on me, it didn't do enough. You know what I'm saying? Honestly. Even the fix, because the fix is a classic. Classic. But he also has, you know what I'm saying, verses on Bun B's music, which kind of made it a formidable. So, what about if we were looking at the crews? As far as G Unit versus Dipset, including Game. Oh shit, uh, Rockefeller, you gotta throw them in there. They probably number one. G Unit. No, he had he just set one up. You said G Unit versus Dipset. Uh, yeah, versus Dipset. Oh come on, man. Uh yeah, I G-Unit. think I think um, G-Unit. Dipset G-Unit. will have to take it. Because G-Unit. 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 G-
speechless because I ain't got no rebuttal. That's crazy. <laughs> yes, yes, bro. I never do. But Bawa got movies too. Bawa got more of a movie. He do got. He got you more. Like, because my Romeo movies is kind of like, but he had the Romeo yeah, yeah. show though. For real, like Nickelodeon niggas was cheating. Man, Bawa got movies though. Right, classic. He do got movies. Like Mike is a classic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he was set up though. Like you talking about Romeo is just in house. No limit. Bow Wow had he had machines behind him. He had Snoop Dogg, T.I. They had machines. He had everybody behind him. JD, you know what I'm saying? For real. Yeah. For real, yeah. Little Bow Wow. You just don't know. For real, nigga. Come on, bro. And that was one of his hardest songs. You know what I'm saying? That was shit. Exactly. Exactly. Shit. Represent that. Yeah. So as far as music. Bow Wow got Romeo beat for sure, but if you, he said, I wanted to wait how he set it up. He said, just career wise, I think Romeo got Bow. Damn, dog. But Romeo do got a lot of movies. I mean, Bow Wow got some movies like, with, the, with the roll bounce and all that shit. Like, but Romeo, because I'm thinking of the movies too. Yeah. I, I think Bow Wow got yeah. a lot of movies. Like yeah. Romeo, Romeo was in. Uh, Honey, where he played the little yeah. trouble which, kid. That yeah, was which he kind of compared to like Mike. It was just kind of their little. And that's a classic movie too. Yeah. It's a classic movie too. Yeah. Uh, oh, I think if I you agree. give it, if Romeo no, start doing movies, he'll have him beat no, no matter what. He Boy. just got to get a couple good movies. You know, <laughs> and he is an actor, so it's possible. But that nigga went to school and shit, so you right. And like, Bow Wow yeah, was a star. Yeah, Romeo was kept, like, nigga, I was just he fell back. Like he said, fuck this shit, and actually tried to become a businessman, which. He's on his. Didn't he like sign G Herbo or something like that too? Or G Herbo was with No Limit for a minute? Because well, he of has show? several hundred million dollars, and I guarantee you, Bob, they probably got more than a couple. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as business wise, yeah. Romeo's blowing Bob out the water, bro. All right, man. And so, with that being said, what y'all think? Kirko Bangs or Roscoe Dash? <laughs> I'm not doing that one, bro. <laughs> I'm not doing that one, bro. I tried to think of two of the most obscure names that I can think of. Not that I didn't work the baby. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was all for the joke. That was all for the joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I can bounce back with, in the same note, who do you put against Snoop Dogg? Mm-hmm. You put somebody like. Oh, Snoop. Honestly. The Ice Cubes and shit? You really put him on Because he was younger than them. No. The only person you can put up against Snoop that even stands a chance. Ice Cube? Why not Ice Cube? Ice Cube is like. His shit's not long enough. His career ended very soon. Like, Uh, it's not. Because look at their catalogs. In comparison, it's too long. And Ice Cube didn't have enough himself. Like, he didn't give himself enough of that juice. Yeah, because they didn't give him too much of that. He was giving that shit away to niggas. And he shouldn't. I mean, I think that's a good thing, though, because I think that's something that. It's good. It's something good. He's one of the pioneers of the But that's why you. It'll be a bad comparison because at the end of the day. Snoop and his, the later his later career is like a Dr. Dre, where he's just a hit factor. You know what I'm saying? He's the guy with the name, so, and you and people come up to him with a song. He goes, "Can you put Nas against this?" This is a hit. I'm gonna make this. But see, so, Nas is a real rapper. Snoop is just kind of a like, wordsmith. Yeah, he yeah, just sounds see, cool. And, yeah. Yeah, you know I'm, I'm trying to make someone who sounds cool and just you know raps hit you know. And see, that's but, but I'm, I'm sorry, Snoopy, Doggy Style got lyrics, bro. So you got to take him to the. You got to get him put pit him against. Cause you got to get him the credit credit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to get him a lot of different credit. So you got to put him against the goats, like Jay Z. Right. Hey, even if you put 2001, put him against. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Put him against Jay Z. The R and G. You know what I'm saying? That shit he was hard. He had to be different, and he's like the, he's a, a god tier to see, me. But he's, he's not a top guy. lyricist. Like, like, he been, he's he, not top lyricist. Yeah, no, yeah, he, he's, he's like a three star lyricist. He, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's always been one of the most relevant entertainer rappers. Yeah. Since he came out, yeah, like, I think his he's he's, he's an icon. Like this nigga's relevant. always yeah. been a superstar. Yeah. I think he's a household name, like Michael Jackson. Like, like no. you can't go anywhere on this earth without knowing Everybody Michael Jackson. Knows Snoop. Also, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. You know who Snoop? Even if you don't know, you know Snoop. And, 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 and the thing about somebody who had 
basically all the negative shit attached to him and still became a household name. Like, nigga had murder so, charges, murder charge. about bitches that holds the worst <laughs> way, weed, like, and then smacking bitches. Yeah, and somebody mama will say that Snoop Dogg's a cool guy. Like, <laughs> so it's like, somebody grandma will say, oh yeah, Snoop Dogg. No, he is legit. Completely forget about he what he said about the bitches that holds. He is legit the reason I'm comfortable wearing a bonnet, nigga. I swear, bro, he is the reason I'm comfortable wearing a bonnet, nigga. The fuck, the head scarf and shit, I wear all that shit, nigga. I'm from Snoop, man. Yeah, you can't really hold Snoop. Like, I, whoever even went against Snoop, besides, you know, the people in the early beef, you know what I'm saying? Besides, uh, what's his name? Uh, Easy. Easy and like, who else went against Snoop, like? Yeah, he went against Snoop. But it took Snoop a minute to get back on. He had to get with Pharrell and shit. He had like a four year. So you said with no limit? He, he was still okay. No, with no limit. Yeah. He did. I found the yeah. only, I found the only, I found the only person suitable enough to go against, and musically they nowhere near alike. But longevity wise, they almost exactly the same. LL Cool J. Ooh. Yeah, now almost exactly this. They are, because it, it had a long career, bro. He been on the 80s. He started 80s. in the 80s, and, and his shit ended in the 2000s, 2000s, man. So he's, it was like, was oh, corny. it was like, oh, yeah, 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 to us, because we were kids. Matter, dog, his career to our parents? Yeah. More than 20 years. He was still getting on there for Grammys for best rap album. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this shit lasts more than 20 years, bro. He made albums and then yeah, he TV and movie. Like, yeah, that was about to say transition. That's what Snoop Dogg did too. You gotta do that. You and know what I feel did it as well. So if we were gonna bring that all into it, then I feel like it's fair. Oh. I feel like it's fair game, even though musically they don't, but it's still like like I said, once again, it, and it then comes to a and point then they both like they both attached to the women and shit like that. It, it does come to a point, he's right though, because it comes to a point where it's like the same thing I was saying with Wayne and Jay Z, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like shit that Jay Z was saying at the time was such monumental, you know what I'm saying? That people could have, like Wayne had to say shit like what Wayne was saying, you know what I'm saying? Because all of this other shit had already been said before, you know what I'm saying? So how can I say the same shit without saying that shit? You and you don't saying? have a real story to tell, like, so you so, gotta be creative. So right, and so you can't in comparison, like you can't compare. It's hard to compare like LL's '80s. Versus Snoop's 90s beginning. You know what I'm saying? Like everything LL did in the 80s. It was bars. Was super corny in comparison to what Snoop was doing. Nah, he had, he had bars, bro. In the no, 80s. In the 80s, the 80s was was this is nah, the but he had certain, bars, though. Certain people he was battle rapping, nigga. You're right. <laughs> but certain people didn't rock with him because he was a certain type of artist. It was like, you know what I'm saying? Like De La Soul. Like, I feel like back in the day, if you told people you listen to De La Soul, the niggas would look at you like, nigga, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, cause I, because I was like around. Now, yeah. Just like now, remember? You it, assuming things, you wasn't it's, around. I'm just saying, look, I'm just, cause <laughs> all the 80s, 80s, it was like this. And everybody had to, all we doing is speculating with a lot of shit. You talking about just sounded like you was there. I am an old soul though. Right, when you listen to that music, you I feel like I'm an old soul, man. But no, cause my whole thing is this. I just remember the simple fact that when we were coming up, I just assumed that it was the same way. I wasn't like, hearing when we, it. When we listen to songs, when we listen to certain artists, like it was a certain era where me and you, we would go, or I might tell you I'm listening to a certain artist, so I might go like, I'm listening to a little, I heard this little, little uh, Webby. Yeah. And it was an era where you would look at me like, nigga, what? Huh? You listening to what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure it was. Webby and Boozy. Boozy. Boozy wins that. He just had more longevity and more. But Webby was kind of harder than me, bro. It's just, well, he didn't put out no tapes like that. Yeah. Like, he just put out his albums and that was what and it, it was. Stopped. Exactly. Yeah. After Savage Life 3 was finished. I really didn't even care for Savage Life. Wait, 3. but finish your point, though, because I want you to finish. Uh. No, yeah, but that was, it's the simple fact of the matter, like, you, you remember a time where you were doing something, and so you can just assume very clearly. So you said you were listening to LL Cool J, and somebody said. Probably were going like, yo, if you were still listening to LL Cool J, and somebody was just getting introduced to hip-hop, and they started off listening to Snoop Dogg. If you came over there bumping some LL Cool J, I'm pretty sure niggas will look at you like, nigga, what? All right. If you don't take the that LL shit the fuck out of here. Versus like, the niggas who playing LL. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure the demographic was completely Cause, cause different. Niggas who listen to Meek Mill don't really listen to Drake. Like, they don't. <laughs> if you ask a random person about LL Cool J, they gonna name a movie. 
So, his however, music's not that. Ho- however, when I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall. Is like the greatest. No, it's one of the so greatest he has one. Songs no, ever. even like Mama yeah, said, knock you out. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, even bro. rock the bells. You know what I'm saying? Me and my radio. That shit was. He has a bunch of notable music that came out, dog. That was smash after smash after smash. Even the song with the dream. Hard. That shit was cool. He, he made a handful of good songs. He created Dev Jam's current state. Yes. Which I, I can't believe that. <laughs> yeah, I think only as an four, I think Snoop has been a part of so many great songs. Yeah, uh, what do you say? Uh, yeah. This is for my no means. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. It's like Joe had his. That's had his shit, nigga. He used to his set songs that was mainly just him, and he dropped it, and it was cool then. Even the, the song with the chicks with J Lo and shit, all them bitches was hits when they was out, too. No. That's when he really became the sexy, flexy nigga. Like, we can say we didn't like his prong dog, but it was number one. Right. <laughs> like, it's a lot of shit we can say that was corny or whatever, dog, but this they had never Will Smith or something. No, nah, you can't put it. Now, he too much of a, he's looked at as more of a lyricist. He went right. against, he went, who are you going against? See, uh, now, now, Will Cannibal, Smith. Uh, now, we can put, now, look. Cannabis, yeah, that's what you want to now, use. Now, even if we put them at the same level, I can do the same, like, measurement that I just did with Snoop and him. I can do that same shit with, with, uh, what we just say? Will Smith. Will Smith and LL. So look, I'm pretty sure it's a level of you listening to Will Smith because these parents don't understand. LL is Mama said knock you out at the same time. So it's like you're a little kid if you listen to Will Smith. I can't fuck with you. So I'm pretty sure niggas that was listening to Will Smith was not fucking listening to LL Cool J. I'm pretty sure those was two completely different demographics and they didn't make no kind of music that was similar to each other at all. So just referencing their impact to date. It, I just feel like their music, no one's about to be banging on that L. They, they gonna bang a handful of songs. I think Will Smith, do the same thing I think Will Smith might be closer to might be closer to, to no, 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 I don't think we can compare anybody to Snoop. Let's just make that clear right now. Right right just cause I don't think we can put anybody with in Snoop, Snoop. He got his own projects that are classics. Yeah. He got all these different singles and features and mm-hmm. you know, music wise, he, he he has so much to work from. Right. You know what I'm saying? Of impactful music. Where I feel like the guys you named, they got a handful of impactful songs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Never point. No, that's a very valid statement. I'm with that shit. I can rock. You know it is your boy SB the Ghost LOX D Block telling you my homie J Focus new single Bitcoin is out now exclusively on YouTube coming to DSP Fridays April 17th shout out to the homie Evil Genius and everybody in Detroit give the link a listen give J Focus a listen Ghost told you so yeah